Welcome in everybody. We're gonna do good old fashioned thrift haul. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brad, AKA Surfs of Finds or Surfs. And I'm a former teacher who turned my side hustle of reselling into now my full-time job. These are the type of videos that I used to watch when I started reselling to build that brand knowledge. So grab a snack. We're gonna go over probably a hundred items I picked up recently. I'm gonna show you how much I bought each item for and how much I think I'll be able to sell it for. Remember with everything I do, buyer pays shipping, and eBay fees are 13%. Let's dive right in. I literally have 25 bags right here that we're gonna be going through. So, this might be a while, you might be coming back to me a few different times to watch this video, but I thought I'd film it, do it with you, hopefully you can learn some things. Right off the bat, these are some RLX, these are Ralph Lauren's golf line right here on the inside of the pants, that's where you're gonna see the inside tag. And then on the outside, you're gonna see on the back pocket, the little RLX. So I paid $4.99 for these, usually pants around here are $5 for me. And I'm gonna throw these in different bins. Again, I'm a seasonal seller, getting off topic. I'm a seasonal seller, so I'll be selling anything long sleeve, pants, jackets, coats in the fall and winter, and anything that are polo shorts, swim trunks, anything that sells better typically during the summer and spring, I put in a bin, I put my storage unit uh, and sell it during those months. So right now, beginning of fall, I'm gonna be listing these soon. So these are $5, I'll be able to sell these for around 22 plus ship. And with my method of reselling, I usually like the price on the lower end, get the stuff out the door. So I'm fine taking a dollar or two less um, and letting it fly out the door rather than sitting on it. Here's a brand I always call it, this is a brand that just doesn't stop selling, Carbon to Cobalt. I've been buying this since 2015 and 16. I remember watching these videos and this would be one of the brands, Carbon to Cobalt, to pick up and it just keeps selling. So as long as it keeps selling, I'm gonna sell it. Sometimes these come in different materials. This one is just cotton, it's a button up. I bought it for $5. I'll be able to get around 22 plus shipping for that item. Again, that's gonna be a fall item. Here, I did not speak to you. Here are a pair of Duluth Trading Company shorts. A lot of people pass these up. I love them. I think they're called like dry on the fly or fly on the dry. I don't know what they are, but they're nylon pants. If you're looking for Duluth, these are shorts actually. They make them in pants. If you're looking for Duluth, uh, the tag's right on the inside back butt pocket. Uh, but these are great, they're stretchy. I buy these for $4, yep, $3.99, and sell them for around $20 when spring and summer comes. So those are going in the spring and summer bin. Next item, I don't buy a whole lot of Jordan, but Jordan stuff is pretty good, and especially if it's a big size. This is a 4XL. So we always say in this industry, the bigger the better. Uh, that's because you don't find it as much, and it's more expensive to make, so it's scarce. Uh, this cost me $7.99 at a mom and pop thrift store. I think I'll be able to sell this for around 30 bucks. Again, this is gonna go in the pile to be listed now. Here's one of my favorite brands to sell. It's called Smartwool. Smartwool, this is one of those brands, even if it has like a little hole or a little flaw or something, I will probably still pick it up at the right price. This again was at a mom and pop thrift store, a little bit more than I like to pay. This was $9, but I still think I can flip this into 30 plus buyer pay shipping. And buyer will only have to pay probably six bucks on that because it's under a pound. I uh, One of my, my favorite brand, as you know, Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a, just a gingham check. Whenever you see that check right there, that's a gingham check. I can sell these, especially the short sleeves. The short sleeves I found sell better than long sleeves with the button ups. Not the polo, just the button up. Uh, this will sell for around $20 plus ship, and I can list that in under a minute. So pictures in 30 seconds and list it, sell similar in a minute. So this is a brand a lot of people pass up on, but it's Abercrombie and & Fitch, and it's vintage. People always say, how do you know it's vintage? Well, this is the stuff I used to wear in like 2002, 2003. Uh, these are corduroy. I know these will do well because they're that thick corduroy the thick corduroy from Y2K sells well. Again, $5. I'm expecting, I didn't see a lot of comps on these when I was in the store. I bet you I can get 32 plus ship out of those. Uh, here's another regular old, you're gonna see me, I'm just gonna show it to you. Again, Polo Ralph Lauren, 
I'm gonna put this over here because I need to button it up. But Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, five bucks. Yep, five bucks from mom and pop thrift store into I would say $17.99 or $18.99. I do like to buy these with the better patterns. If they're a solid or a stripe, they still sell, but I just feel like these patterns fly off the shelves a little bit faster than the others. Here is a down jacket. Now down obviously is great to sell come winter time. This is not my favorite brand. So look up comps and seeing how much you're paying for these. This is Eddie Bauer. Um, and you'll see on the sleeve, they'll always have like the, um, usually they have like the EB, which is the Eddie Bauer and they'll have a fill like this, EB650. So that's the down fill on this jacket. It was $10 to be honest. I'm expecting to get around 35 plus ship for this. Um, the Eddie Bauer just don't do quite as well as other brands, but this will be actually under a pound, super cheap for the buyer to ship to them. Here is a, another Polo Ralph Lauren. Polo Ralph Lauren linen blend, actually it's pure linen. Yeah, 100% linen. So this is kind of cool. This is a button up with pineapples all over it. Again, unique sales, especially with Polo Ralph Lauren, my favorite brand. Unique sales, it's got the newer tag. Anything with the yellow print on the blue tag is newer for Polo Ralph Lauren. And again, $5. This will probably actually sell into close to 30 bucks come spring and summer. Uh, here is a Lululemon. So a Lululemon, this is just a hoodie. I'm not sure if it's men's or women's. With Let's find out together. So if you're new to looking at um, Lululemon, you'll be able to find the tag somewhere near, here it is. And this is a large, and I'm gonna say that's a men's because most of Lululemon, if it's men's, it will be small, medium, large, extra large, or waist size, like 34, 36, whatever. Um, women's, even the tops are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and the bottoms are the same way. So this is a men's large Lululemon. You have your little baby hit down there at the bottom. So this will probably go for around $30. It cost me five, so 30 plus ship on that. And a pair of, what are these? Oh, Roan. So Roan is one of the brands uh, that I like to resell that's an athletic brand, it's a higher end athletic brand. So you have Viore, Lululemon, Roan, R-H-O-N-E. And Viore is my favorite to sell. It sells the best right now for me, then Lululemon, then Roan is starting to come way down. Um, they're starting to sell it at TJ Maxx. Here you go, that's the tag you're gonna be looking for. Again, it's kinda hidden inside. There's nothing on the outside. Sometimes you'll see those triple crosses um, stitched somewhere on the pants or the shirts, but for how much did I pay for these? $8.99, again, a little bit more than I wanna pay for these pants, but the pants sell better than the shirts. I think I'll be able to get around 32, 33 plus ship out of these. And those were at Salvation Army. Again, a brand people pass up on, but if you can get substantial pieces from like the Y2K area, Abercrombie and Fitch, this one is a nice heavy jacket with the Abercrombie and Fitch on the side. I paid $9.99 for this, so $10. And $10 is pretty much the most I pay at my thrift stores, um, and that's on jackets. And this will probably sell for around $40 plus shipping. That's gonna obviously go in the winter stack. Um, here's another brand that's good, as you guys know, the North Face. Uh, the North Face has kind of made a comeback. Um, I know if you've been reselling for the last couple of years, it's been selling fine. But uh, it kind of fell off when Patagonia was doing really well, like 2018, 19. It kind of fell off a little bit, but it's right back up there with Patagonia and the others now. Um, especially like, the, it has that newer hit right there like that. Um, I'm not sure if it has one on the back. It doesn't have anything on the back, but it's just a full zip. Um, I think in Patagonia, they call them the better sweater. So it's like the better sweater of Patagonia. Full zip though, this was $10. I think I should be able to get 35 plus ship out of that. Again, buyer pays shipping and my cost um, with eBay is 13% plus I pay taxes on my profits. Uh, here's a Peter Millar. Not my favorite brand anymore to pick up as far as polos go. Used to be great. It used to be before the pandemic, an awesome brand to pick up. Uh, would, would fly off the shelves over $30 overnight. Um, but there are just other brands that have taken it over. So this is a Peter Millar. The reason I got this one is because it's got the newer 
It's got the newer um, Summer Comfort tag on it and it has no logos anywhere on it. So sometimes a logo can help. More often than not, the logos don't help the value. This was $5. I'll still be able to get probably 2022 plus ship. Again, these used to be 30 overnight. So that's kind of why I've been passing those up. Um, at least the ones that are logoed out, uh, local golf courses, or even like um, logos with like, like local companies or whatever. They just don't do as well. Here is a new with tag. I don't even know what this is. A new with tags. What is this? Uh, tail, long tail. Yeah. So tail, uh, that's a women's golf brand. I usually stay away from women's golf brands that just don't do near as well as men's. But this was new with tags, um, $89.99 uh, for $5. So even if I get 20 bucks out of that, I'll be happy. And it's a little bit bigger size squirt. The skirts always sell really well. Again, I'm gonna save that for next spring or summer. Um, and don't be, don't be, uh, don't do what I do when it comes to reselling and doing the seasonal thing. It took me four years to get to the point where I was able to do seasonal selling. That's because I would get so much inventory that I would be able to prioritize what I want to sell first. So like right now I have, let's say 800 pieces of fall and winter. Those are the items that are priority to me because it's about to be winter and fall. Um, so the summer and spring I put off to the side. And when I first started for the first few years, anything I'd get, I'd list no matter what time of year it is. And that's what I would recommend to anybody new. So here's a pair of Lululemon. These are a pair of just, women's pants i thought they were joggers they're not so joggers will usually have the tight cuff at the bottom these do not so these are just some lululemon pants uh women's let's see Ooh, they are actually a men's they are a men's which is actually better they're a medium men's i only paid five bucks for them five bucks at the local mom and pop they obviously didn't see that because that mom and pop shop usually prices their stuff up higher uh, the lululemon at least so they missed that one Here's a Patagonia. Actually, I think I bought two of these. So Patagonia, these don't sell that great for me like they used to. I think I can get around $18, $19 out of these plus ship. I pay $5 for it, so I'm not gonna pay a ton, but I think there were two. We'll find the other one later. But yeah, I think there were two of these, and what I'll probably do, since they're the same size, similar style, I will probably lot them together. I'm not sure, but sometimes the, the tag size is hidden. I did not, Usually they're just right here on the front. So I thought it was faded off. It wasn't, it was right here on the back. So size medium for men's Patagonia. Again, long sleeve, I'll list it right now. $5 into probably 18 bucks. Here is a pair of Peter Millar pants. Again, Peter Millar pants and shorts are a different story. Those sell much better than the shirts for me. So, and that probably is because they're more expensive to begin with. So a polo might be like $78 brand new. These are like 150, 140 brand new. Uh, and these were $9.99. Again, I paid up a little bit at the Salvation Army for these, but I usually get around $40 plus shipping for these Peter Millar pants. And actually these probably, you always wanna look at the inside tags of Peter Millar because they usually have a different type of material. So this is a cotton uh, model or model, whatever it is, and spandex material. Sometimes they're even silk. So usually they're nicer. You can always feel the difference. You can feel the difference in Peter Millar. Uh, here is a pair of, like I said, my favorite brand of workout gear to sell. These are actually unique because you don't really find many pants that are Viore. So Viore usually has three tags to look for. And the tags are, or I guess hits you should say, or labels or whatever, um, one like this one, so this has, it almost looks like a Ukrainian flag. They have one that looks just like this one that is all white. And then they have a circle with a V. And those are the three tags that we're looking for. I paid $5 for these pants and these will probably sell for around $40 if I'm guessing. I have never sold these before, um, but, and they're not joggers, they're pants, but I'm guessing around 40 bucks, maybe even, maybe even closer to 50. Viore is a hot brand. Speaking of a hot brand, I love the thing about I love about reselling clothing. They're always new brands. So everyone always wants to say, oh, the thrift stores know everything and thrift stores. The thing is, by the time it trickles down to the people who pulls in the back, 
that brand might be outdated or there are another brand. There are always new brands out. Getting back to the Peter Millar polos. Those don't do as well, I think, because there are other polos out there that are newer that do better. Roebuck, G4, Grayson, all those types of brands do better and sell for more. Horton, this and Bourne, those all bring more money right now because they're the on-trend polo. Uh, Peter Millar aren't. So now they're saying, ooh, Peter Millar sells high. We've been seeing that the last three years. We'll start pricing them high. Well, I stopped picking them up for the most part. I'll pick up the new brands. This is a brand I've never found before. It's called Iron and Resin. Iron and Resin, I knew it was something special because it had that like almost that selvage denim thing at the top. Plus it was pearl snap. Whenever something's pearl snap, I'll give it a second look over. Uh, it had another little embroidery here. And then at the bottom it said made in the USA. Anything made in the USA, definitely I would suggest look up. I looked up the pearl snaps in the store and this goes for around 70 to 80 bucks in pre-owned condition. And again, I, it might be a selvaged denim shirt. See the red stitch around the hem? It might be a selvaged denim shirt because it does feel like denim. So anyways, paid $5 for that one. And again, it looks to go for around $70 to $80. I'm gonna sell that one right away. Here is another Polo Ralph Lauren. Don't need to get into details for that, but it's a striped. I'll be probably going for $17.99 plus buyer pay ship. And another item. All right. This is one of my favorite brands to be on the lookout for. All right, so if you, obviously that, that what is it? I already forgot, an iron or resin, whatever. Uh, this is a good brand to be on the lookout for. Everyone knows this brand. If you don't, get with it. It's Filson. Sometimes they'll say CC Filson. Sometimes they'll say this is an authentic CC Filson garment. But CC Filson, a great brand. Look, someone was selling it for a dollar at a garage sale or something. Too bad I wasn't at that garage sale. They probably had more, but I'm good with paying $5 because this shirt will probably go for 50. CC Filson stuff, you can just feel. It is thick. It is probably the best outdoor outdoorsman gear. Not necessarily hiking, just like outdoorsmen. So, or women. It is probably the number one outdoorsman gear. Here's a brand that I don't usually pick up anymore unless there are a couple things that are going for it. A, a crazy print. B, it has a golf course logo that is a popular PGA golf course logo. Or C, if it has a Titleist patch on the sleeve. Any number of one of those. But this is a Foot Joy Polo. The reason I got this one is because the pattern is nice. So the pattern is pretty cool on this. It's not just stripes, it's not just plain. It's got a cool little pat pattern. And actually it has this little um, Marlin logo, which I thought was pretty neat. So $5 again, this will probably go into like $20. If it was just plain, I would have passed it up because I'm having a hard time selling those for $15 throughout the summer. So that's another lemon you learn. I've been selling Foot Joys for ever since I started and now they're starting to go downhill just like Peter Millard if they're plain Jane um, solids or stripes. So you gotta be careful, gotta go with what's trending, you gotta, gotta watch these videos that are recent. So if you look up thrift hauls and they're two years old, make sure you're looking how old they are. If they're two years old, they're probably not gonna be relevant to what you're finding today. So here is a relevant to what you're finding today and that sells well today. Here are good American jeans. Um, good American supposedly is a good brand. Again, I'm just venturing out into women's clothing as far as exclusively women's clothing. Of course, I'm gonna pick up Viore, North Face, Patagonia, Lululemon, all that stuff. But Good American, kind of like a Judy Blue, I think as far as price-wise, I paid $8 for them. We'll see what I get for that. I'm gonna give a big toss over there because I have a huge stack of women's clothing. Women's clothing is my least favorite brand of clothing to sell. But if it's good, I know I'm gonna pick it up. And I'll just suck it up and spend a whole day like taking photos of it or whatever. So this has a little spot here on the front. I'm gonna get that out. It'll be no problem to get that out. But these Polo Ralph Lauren's, $6 for these. If you go right now to TJ Maxx, these Polo Ralph Lauren full zips with the waffle hood, if you find these waffle insulated or waffle lined hoods, they sell for around like $40, $50 at Ross and TJ Maxx. So these things are selling for a ton of money right now at those stores. And this was six bucks. This will probably sell for $30 or more plus ship, probably 35 plus ship. So I'm gonna put that over there. I don't buy stuff that um, have spots or smells or anything, but of course, sometimes when you're buying a hundred pieces like this, 
you're going to bring them home and you're going to find spots. You're going to find stains. And you'll just have to try to get them out. This one was actually funny. We were doing a live thrift with this one. It's called Origin. And I've never heard of it, but it was unique. It had this little embroidery here, had a nice button. It had a nice leather tag on the inside. On the inside pocket, it had this made it grown and made in America. Again, made in America, you're gonna see a trend if it's made in America, especially denim, it's gonna be worth something. These were $8. I forget what the comps were for these. You can make, tell me in the chat below. Um, but I think these were, um, around like 40 bucks um, used comps, maybe more, I don't remember. All I remember was the chat. Some people I trusted in the chat were like, get those, those are worth the money. I couldn't look them up on my phone because I was doing a live. Uh, here's a brand they actually sell at Dick's, I did not know. Uh, it's called Burst, I guess. So that's the label. I usually, pa actually I always pass over this brand. So I always pass over this brand Burst. I don't think it's a really great brand, to resell $65 MSRP on the tag. Um, but this is a flannel shirt and it was $5 with new with tag. So what I'm thinking is 20, $22 plus shipping is probably what I'll get out of that shirt. Um, I, for $5, I'm not going to lose. That's a gamble I'd be willing to take. So that's what I did. Suits and blazers. Suits and blazers are my second least favorite thing to list. My least favorite men's thing to list and my least favorite thing to pick up but I always pick them up because the return is so great. So this was $8. I believe this is a Bonobos. Yeah, this is Bonobos, which isn't, it, that brand is a really hit or miss brand right now, but you can see it's a Bonobos blazer. It's half lined and I'm pretty sure it has a, yeah. So it has a nice fabric inside. So you're gonna see blazers and sports coats with a different type of, you'll see the name of it like Bonobos or J. Crew or Brooks Brothers. And then you're gonna see a special fabric. That's a fabric that they use specialized for that item. And usually that will be indi a good indication of it's worth more. I haven't looked this up, but I wouldn't be surprised if that goes for around $50 or so. That's why I pick them up. $8 and a 50, I gotta get it. Here's a brand that I don't normally pick up either. Um, or actually I do pick up on both sometimes, but Browning is a brand I don't normally pick up, but this is vintage. And this was this is actually called a waxed jacket so it looks like it's leather but it's actually cotton and it, it's there's like a wax on it so it's pretty much water water resistant water repellent um a lot of hunter a lot of a brand that you would know that wears black or you might not know that make a lot of wax jackets and they're known for them are barber jackets um look those up online they would sell for a ton of money this was ten dollars i didn't even look up comps i just know that vintage um, browning wax vest jacket hunting would probably do well. I'm guessing around $40. I might be wrong. Again, tell me if I'm wrong in the chat. Uh, here we go, Rag and Bone. I almost didn't pick this up. This brand still sells at Nordstrom's for a ton of money in Nordstrom's rack, but, the, but reselling it just isn't there. Uh, Rag and Bone, it's got these metal buttons. It's a good looking shirt, really well made. Um, what size is this? I might even keep this for, it's a medium. Uh, it's called Rag and Bone Fit 2. So for the for the record, anything that's not Lululemon, like anything that's dress casual dress, it's all thrifted for me. My whole wardrobe is thrifted. And usually I'll find something like, ooh, I like this better than a shirt. I'll put the other shirt online and uh, keep this one. So anyways, uh, my whole wardrobe is thrifted. That's the other side of uh, reselling that is good. So $5 for this. I hope to get around 22, 23 out of that plus buyer pay ship. Um, again, Polar Ralph Lauren, anything special about this size, anything? Yeah, so this is a 3XB, bigger the better. So Polar Ralph Lauren, you'll see 3XT, 2XT, 4XT, 4X, uh, 3XB, any of those, they're all the same, they're all just really big. Um, you can put them in eBay, they'll have an actual, you put um, regular, they'll have a regular size or tall, big and large. And in the big and large section, you'll see it'll have the, the 3XB or 2XLT or whatever. But for $5, again, this one isn't a $17 or $18.99. That one's probably like a $24.99 um, piece right there. So this is what I love, Polo Ralph Lauren denim. I just love my Polo Ralph Lauren. So again, this is, this is surf teacher mode. So 
I like to be in live. I like to go back and forth with people making jokes, but this is me just teaching, teaching you the brands. This is the type of stuff you listen to in the background while you're doing your own work. Uh, but Polo Ralph Lauren denim, anything Polo Ralph Lauren that's men's and denim tops sell really well. So this is $5. My guess, I'll be able to sell this for around $25, maybe $30 plus ship actually if I think about it. And he, oh, this is a retail arbitrage. I actually posted this on my Insta. Um, but check this out. Look at the craziness on this Levi's. This Levi's jacket is just nuts with these, um, with what, what would you call these, patches, patchwork, whatever it is. But a normal Levi's trucker jacket like this at Ross costs like $34. This one was $19.99. The MSRP on a normal one is like $74. The MSRP on this is 198. Why? Because it's super unique. So that's unique, has the details. I didn't find one uh, online just like it. So my guess is it'll probably sell for around 60 or $70 just because it's unique. Uh, again, only $20 into that. So you guys know I like retail arbitrage. I don't just hit the thrift stores. I've been actually doing a lot more retail arbitrage lately because those stores haven't gotten a lot more in. There for a while after the pandemic, the um, the supply chain was in trouble and those stores weren't getting a ton of inventory. So it was limited. I couldn't do the retail arbitrage like I did before. Now it's back, it's back again. So Patagonia men's running shorts. Uh, there's your Patagonia. Sometimes it's hard to see the label, but just Patagonia running shorts, regular, they're lined. They're $3.99. I'll be able to sell these for probably 20 plus shipping. The buyer will pay almost nothing to have those shipped to them because they're super lightweight. Here are, uh, here's another retail arbitrage item. So Adidas, you guys know anytime I find Adidas, Nike, Under Armour, uh, even Callaway sometimes that have this all over stretch waistband, that is the in waistband right now for golf. I'm guessing because it keeps your polo tucked in nice. It's a little bit stretchy. Um, but anyways, this cost me $11.99 on clearance and I'll be able to sell this for around uh, probably $20 plus ship. So again, another retail arbitrage for these, but those will go in the summer and spring and I'll sell them next summer and spring. Again, I love corduroy. Cord I'm gonna have to list these, list these right away because in fall, corduroy hit hard. So in, in the fall, I recommend doing corduroy pants, corduroy blazers, corduroy tops, anything. Corduroy is super popular in the fall. You guys know this brand? You should know right here, this brand, just by looking at this. Um, you'll see these in the aisle and you'll say, oh, that's that brand. And if you don't know it, now you do. It is the brand Orvis. So the brand Orvis right there. And they have some leather pockets sometimes. Sometimes they're back here, a little leather. Um, that just tells you they're a little bit better quality. Again, these are like unworn condition. That leather doesn't look like it's ever been touched. And these would be pleated. So you see how the fronts have the pleats. They're not straight fronts. like. If they were straight fronts, they'd look like that. Instead, they had the pleats in the front. So this was $5. Probably be able to turn this into like um, $32.99 plus ship. I don't know, maybe a little more. It's been a while since I've sold, sold uh, Orvis corduroys like that. Here's that other Patagonia. Um, so I'm gonna lot that. I'm actually lot this with the other one. A lot of people are like, how do you know when to lot? I just, if it's the same size, similar style, and I'm gonna get, I don't know. It's, it's just random for me. Um, it's just how I feel. It's, it's random. I've been doing it a long time, so I can't, it's not like a, um, black and white. It's just a, a hard question to answer. It's just how I feel. So there's really no, um, there's really nothing to that. I don't know. Here is a Polo Ralph Lauren, um, like a, what do they call this? I forget what they call this, but it is a, like a work shirt, work shirt, really awesome work shirt. I actually bought it retail arbitrage for $40. So I, I paid up for this, MSRP is $198. But I'm looking to get around $80 for this, I think I can. When it comes to retail arbitrage, you're not quadrupling your money for the most part. You're trying to make, you know, maybe double, but you're paying $40 and you're selling it for 80. So you're gonna make a good $30, which is, which is great. So I'm fine with that. Uh oh, here's another piece of women's clothing. So this is a J. Crew cashmere. So 100% cashmere, it's got the black tag, so it's not the J. Crew outlet. The J. Crew outlet has a couple dots below J. Crew. That's how you know if it's the outlet store. The stuff's made a little bit cheaper and it costs a little bit less. 
but I'm gonna list this new with tags, even though the tags ripped off, but this is new, never worn. I don't know what to list this for. I bought it for $5. My guess is probably gonna go for, I don't know, I'll probably list it cheap, like 25 bucks or something like that. But that's going over with the women's clothing. And we'll keep on going with this, with all the other stuff. I told you I had a lot of stuff, guys. I wasn't, I wasn't kidding. If you like these thrift hauls, let me know in the chat below because I can do these as often as you'd like because um, I'm going to do it anyways. I pull stuff out of the bag, organize them in where they go, and then I list them later. So if you like these, let me know in the chat. I'll continue to do them. This is how I learned back in the day, so I thought I'd give it a try for you guys. Um, Under Armour, size 34. It doesn't matter what size these are. But these are the match play shorts. Again, they have the stretchy waistband all the way around. These are actually the newer match play shorts. So I sell these all the time, $23.99 plus ship. These are my favorite shorts to sell. So if anyone asks me what are my favorite shorts to sell, it's these. Yeah, they're not crazy, crazy shorts. They're not uh, Robert Graham or whatever, but the thing about these are I can find them often and they sell quickly. So that's important for me. Buy them for $3.99, sell them for $23.99, make about $15 profit. I can buy them often and sell them quickly. So that's important for me. I think I bought another pair, I don't know where they are. I might have. So this one's already unbuttoned, but it's a 5'11 tactical. I really like these 5'11 tactical uh, shirts that have the snaps in the front. So these have metal snaps all throughout and they're like a nylon. I paid $5 for it. These sell for around $20 plus shit for me. I don't need a button up right now. Um, and again, another Polo Ralph Lauren. This one's a larger gingham check. So I would put large, I'd put big gingham check in it because large might be confusing with the size since it's a medium. But large gingham check compared to the uh, smaller one I showed you guys earlier. So that's a that's good. Gingham check is probably my favorite to uh, sell online. Gingham check. Here is a Puma, another retail arbitrage item, a Puma polo shirt. And this one, you can't, you can barely see it, but it has like a little bird and some golf clubs on it. So like some little bird, golf clubs, there's even a heart on there. I have no idea what the theme is, but uh, maybe it's like love of golf. Yeah, there's like a heart with a golf club through it and like Tweety Birds, I don't know. Anyways, $13.99 or $13.59 on clearance, 75 MSRP, I'll be able to sell this for around $30. So 13 and a 30, I'm good with that, especially if I can find multiples, which I didn't. This is actually a new brand to me again. So in this video, you're seeing I'm finding new brands all the time and I thrift every week. So this one's called Grunk Dolfer. So yes, Grunk Dolfer as in drunk golfer. Obviously it's a play on words and it says helping couples become families, which is kind of funny. You see it has a crane and the baby sack on them. Um, but I did look up the comps on these and they were decent. They were like 40 bucks used. So. Birdies for babies is what it says on the sleeve. So I like that. It's it's flat, funny, play on words. Uh, people, This is what I'm talking about on the golf course. People like this crazy all over print. The Peter Millar and stripes that are just solids and foot joints that are solid just aren't doing like they used to. Another one of those uh, under or Duluth fly dry on the fly shorts. I love picking these up. Again, $3.99 into like 20 bucks. Let's see what we have here. Oh. A nice pair of new with tags BKE jeans. I paid a little up for these at our thrift store at the Goodwill. Usually they charge about $7.99 for these, um, but they charge $9.99, which is fine with me. This is actually my favorite pair of jeans to sell. So Under Armour shorts are my favorite pair of shorts. BKE are my favorite pair of jeans. Why? I know they're not crazy expensive, but I can find them often and they sell quick, especially in the fall and winter. Again, $9.99 new with tags and they're uh, 38 XL. The XL is definitely better. I always say with leg or with uh, jeans and pants, the longer the better because it will fit tall people and then they can hem them down to whatever size you are. So it fits every single person. So there we go. Those again, $9, probably into 40, 45 bucks on those. Yeah, definitely like 45 bucks. Those are expensive new. Here is a Polo Ralph Lauren, which I'm testing out. So I'm testing out, oh, this is actually a 2XLT, so I'm not testing it out. So this is a solid one. Short sleeves, again, short sleeves sell really well. Um, short sleeves sell actually better than the long sleeves. Maybe it's just because it's summer recently. That's why I've had that in my head. But uh, anyways, it's a 2XLT, and so that will sell well. And then here is actually a Carhartt new with tag shirt for $5 that I actually bought for myself. So this is gonna be like my outdoor shirt. 
So this is not for sale, but five bucks, again, go into the Goodwill, I'm able to buy for myself as well, or whatever thrift store I go to. I just got these yesterday, actually. So again, another pair of women's, they're Athleta, Athleta or Athleta, whatever they're called, Athleta, $5, they're a good size, they're a size 14, so I know with, with men and women, the bigger, usually the better, because listen, we aren't all skinny, um, but these are five bucks, they're joggers, and guess what? They're pure linen, so 100% linen. I think those will do well. I'm gonna throw them over with the women's stuff over there. Let's see what we have next. So literally, I have like, all these bags. So thanks for staying with me. Hope you guys are learning something. I uh, will be quick with these two because they're easy. Again, match play Under Armour shorts. $3.99 a piece, yep, $3.99 a piece. And these will go uh, for $23.99 really quickly, especially when spring and summer hit. Again, I prefer shorts over Polos and pants are for polos as well. So those will do well. And this is a, another new brand. So that's three right here. New brands to me, Banks Journal. I still haven't looked up the comp for this. I think I was doing a live with these and someone said this is a good brand to look up, someone with knowledge. So they looked up sold comps, they looked up um, how much they were going for and it was worth it for $5. So I have no idea how much it's gonna go for. But $5 gamble, to me, it's better than a $5 lottery ticket because I know I'll at least get my money back out of it. Um, I have a buddy in town who I trade with. So this is just a vintage um, Hurricane, like 2001 New Orleans Bull Sugar Bowl. So I'm going to give that to him. Uh, he, he sells vintage stuff, and he'll trade me with something like Lululemon or Patagonia newer stuff. Here are two pair. So two per. Uh, what, what song is that? Give me two per. Two per Judy Blue jeans. Uh, $7.99 each. There's one. I've only sold one pair. Um, I just started picking this brand up this year because I've been watching other resellers. I still do that myself. And $8 again for another pair. So these sell well. Usually like I think over $28 a piece, especially depending on the size. Here is a Nike golf polo. I paid I think up oh, $5 for this one. Not bad. But I sold this exact polo this summer for like 21 bucks. Has that all over print again, that's what's gonna sell it. And it has a newer screen print tag on it. So that one will go for around $20 come spring, hopefully. And then a Travis Matty. So Travis Matthew, this brand has kind of come downhill a little bit, but I liked how it had, this is navy blue and red. I know this is gray, but it kind of gives that red, white, and blue flag vibe to me. Um, it's $5, I think I can turn that into like 19 or $18 plus buyer pay ship on that one. This actually, I got from the outlet. You all know I do not like going to the outlet store, but I went with the Bearded Thrifter. If you don't know Bearded Thrifter, Thrifter give him a follow. Um, we went to the outlet and actually found this like Patagonia Kids Unworn um, that I'm going to give to someone locally that sells kids clothes. And we trade, so recently she traded me a really nice Polo Ralph Lauren shirt and I give her kids clothes. She sells exclusively kids clothes on her eBay page. So we do trades too. So you gotta network with people. Um, you have people looking for stuff out for you and vice versa. Look out for them. This is American Giant. I'm gonna hold this up for a second. Take a screenshot, because that's a good brand to be on the lookout for. American Giant, again, found this at the bins. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why they put it in the bins. It's in perfect condition. It has like these, extra elbow pads in them, really heavyweight American giant. I probably paid like, I probably paid like four or five bucks at the bins with this, which is kind of expensive for one uh, piece of clothing, but I'll be able to get, my guess is around $50 for those. Also, this is obviously all the bins. So also at the bins, I have got these Carhartt little kid pants, they're size seven. Uh, my kid's seven, I might let him wear these or to sell them. I don't think he'll ever wear these. So yeah, I'm gonna sell those. Those are gonna be listed right now. Those are totally a fall thing. Uh, and if they don't sell, they'll sit my store and Auto Posture will uh, have them delist or relist all the way until next year. So it's no problem if those don't sell right away. Um, again, my Auto Posture will uh, my Auto Posture will have those delist or relist and send out offers for me. Found these at the bins too, and I never found Vineyard Vines really big like this in this performance. So 46B is the size on these, and these are the performance Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines performance, like anything with the nylon spandex. Uh, polyester blend always sell better than cotton for me, whether it be polos, shorts, anything like that. 
Uh, I found this at the bins as well. It's just a North Face t-shirt. Probably just gonna give this one away. Um, I just couldn't leave a North Face behind, right? So North Face t-shirt, especially at the bins, it just has a van on the front, pack, climb, and ski. I probably paid like, I don't know, maybe 50 cents for this, not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely give that one away probably. And then I found that I'm not gonna give this one away because I don't know if it's like a tour. I know The Rock, I know there's like a weightlifting tour. This might be it, I'm not sure, but Iron Paradise and as a list, a whole bunch of towns on it. Cities, I mean, or I guess Hawaii, Los Angeles, cities and states. Rome, London, Beijing. Yeah, so this was kind of unique. Again, found it at the bins. It's a 2XL and this thing was super light. I bet that cost me probably again, 50 cents, maybe even less, that is super light. So that will be probably a $20 sale, if I remember right. Again, another pair of those Duluth, $3.99. I'll pick these up every single time for $3.99. Sell them, again, around $20 or so, something like that. Uh, right here is, uh, oh, this is a personal. So you guys know I like my champion jerseys. I'm 37. I grew up in the 90s. Reggie Miller is my favorite uh, player of all time because I'm a Pacers fan. And it just sucked because we had Michael Jordan in our same division. Um, but anyways, Tim Duncan, champion. This is vintage for sure. Got the vintage champion tag. Made in the USA. Made in Mexico. Um, but anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm keeping it for the personal collection. You'll see those in my videos when I do lives, by the way. And if you don't know I do lives, I have a whole tab on YouTube of lives. All the stuff I pack um, like nightly almost. So if you don't catch those lives, you can always go back and rewatch those. It'll show you what I'm actually selling for how much. So no fake sales. Um, American Giant, again, good brand to look out for. We just talked about it. $5 for this uh, long sleeve shirt. That one will probably sell for like 25, um, something like that. Nothing crazy on that. It's just a long sleeve shirt. Again, Abercrombie & Fitch, anything that's Y2K, especially a good size. 36 I find to be the best size for these cargo shorts. So any Abercrombie & Fitch cargo shorts I find like this, they have the big drawstring and they're heavy for $3.99. I snag them. These sell for around $30 if they're khaki or blue. Uh, here's a khaki pair, but if you find a camo pair, it's like 40 and up, 70 bucks. Look them up online. Um, this one is like the 712, the tool 7 pocket, size 36, really, really, really heavy duty um, cargo pants or shorts. And I will sell those for around 30 bucks. Again, paid $4 for them. Here's a, my favorite pair of jeans to sell. Like I keep saying, Jake, Jake, uh, Jake is the line of these BKE jeans. And these are actually a newer BKE because that tag's a, the newer-ish tag, but newer-ish. Uh, but there it is, $7.99. I'll be able to sell these for, again, about $27. I sell all BKE between $27.99 and $32.99, just depending on the size, the length, the style, the wash. If it's like a dark wash, they usually go for a little bit more money. Um, pair of North Face shorts. So these stuck out. I thought they were J. Crew because I feel like I've seen J. Crew shorts just like this before. But four dollars, um, North Face, whatever shorts. I don't even know the size. Size XL. They're lined. They might even be swim trunks. I'm not sure. But for three ninety nine, North Face. I am not passing that up. Get in my cart. All right, next one. Polar Ralph Lauren XL with the check. It's got the black check and the black pony four ninety nine and the seventeen ninety nine. Uh, this would be a performance. Um, this is actually a performance Vineyard Vines. Again, Vineyard Vines, like I said earlier, if it's performance, it has like a nylon or polyester. This has a nylon spandex blend. So this will sell for more than a cotton. Cotton still sell for me like $17.99, $18.99 plus ship. This is more like a $20, $21 plus ship. Here's a really nice flannel. Uh, this is again a Vineyard Vines. And you don't really find vineyard vines flannels very often. And here's a little hint to people. If you can find a flannel in L.L. Bean or Polo Ralph Lauren, or in this case, vineyard vines, with the two chest pockets, that's always a plus. If they have the two chest pockets in the front, that's usually a plus. You'll find it in Duluth as well. So I'm gonna throw that in the bin to list now. $4, $5, I have never, I don't think I've listed one like that before. Um, so I don't know, maybe $20 for that. I really don't know. I'll have to look up comps. So that will take me, that one to list will probably take me like four minutes because I'll have to look up comps. Something else I've never found before, Orange Tab Levi's Prospector. So check out that. I've never seen that in my life. 
That is pretty cool. Anything vintage Levi's, especially with the orange tab is good. Looked at the inside to make sure they didn't have like a newer tag. They don't. They have the old tag way down here somewhere in here. Here it is. So they have the old little tag right there. That's all it was. Um, and I think the comps, I don't even know what the comps were for these. I just know orange tab, Levi's with that unique prospect for sure snagging them. They were $7.99. So whatever those will go for, I'm cool with. Johnny O, again, like Vineyard Vines, sells much better if it's a polyester blend, nylon blend, like a dry fit, a wicking type of blend. This is a cotton spandex, but it's got a really good print to it. Like that pink and blue look really nice together. I think I'd look good in it, or at least I think it would help me look better. But $5 for that, I'd probably go for like $18 plus shit on that one. Uh, again, again, another pair of these. So another pair of these, I thought it was broken, it's just the belt. Um, these are the pants though. So here are the pants, the loose, dry on the fly with these cargo pockets. These will sell for around $23.99 plus ship. I paid $4.99 for these. So you see my average cost of goods is really right around $5. People always ask me, uh, do you keep your spreadsheet? I, I pay, I know how much exactly I pay because uh, everything is about $5 average cost of goods. So when I sell my stuff on eBay, I know it costs about $5 uh, for me to purchase that item. These, on the other hand, I bought at a swap meet, so like a car swap meet, two Wimbledon hats. They wanted a dollar piece on them. Of course, me, I'm gonna say, hey, give them a wink and say, will you take a dollar for both? They said, sure. So vintage Wimbledon hats. They actually even have like the Wimbledon tag on the middle. I looked up comps of these right then and there. I did not find a plaid one. I found one like this. They sell for around 20, 25 bucks. So I could sell them as a lot together. They're still first class. I paid a dollar for both, so 50 cents into each one. I'm gonna save those till spring because tennis is now over. So I'm gonna save those till spring along with this. Tommy Bahama, 100% silk. And again, Tommy Bahama, I like to give K-Way a hard time. If you guys don't follow K-Way, K-Way shop, um, he, he sells a ton of Tommy Bahama and I'm always like, oh, Tommy Bahama doesn't sell, but it does. Um, this is a pure silk. And it has like a ukulele on it, you can see, a little ukulele. Um, so Tommy Bahami does sell, but not all of it. So I usually pass up on most pants and shorts. Just there's a few that are, again, like a polyester nylon spandex blend that I will pick up. But if they're silk, linen, or really big sizes, shirts, I will pick them up. That one I paid $2 for at that same. So I paid $3 for those two Wimbledon hats and that shirt right there. Listen up guys, you already know, if you know, you know, I love Disney and actually a lot of people do. So if you can get a name brand polo shirt, like Adidas, Nike, Peter Millar, anything like that with a, a logo from Disney, this is grumpy with a stick in his hand. He must've hit a ball into the water or something with a golf stick in his hand, a golf club. He was breaking it over his knees. And this was $4, this will probably sell for $25, maybe even more. Um, those always sell. If you've ever been to Disney World and going to Disney shops, you'll see how much those are. They're crazy money. So be on the lookout for those. Here, again, bigger the better. And it's a performance. So this is a big Polo Ralph Lauren 3XB. Has the two colors on it. Pony on the front. Really has everything going for it. Um, and it's the performance. So the performance, again, means it has like a polyester or spandex blend in it. And again, this is almost might be even considered brand new without tags. It's got like, it's like pressed together. You know how brand new stuff is. Um, this was $5.99. I honestly think I can get close to 40 plus ship. I definitely think I can get 40 plus ship out of that. So that's a pretty good pickup right there. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is a brand. I think I bought two of them. Maybe, maybe I just bought one. So this is a brand I usually don't buy anymore. When I first started in 15, 16, this was a brand to be on the lookout for. Just like Carbon to Cobalt, but Carbon to Cobalt just kept selling. Territory ahead. It's definitely fallen off. Not all of it though. So if you find unique prints like Southwest prints or something like this, the crazier, the better. Go to go on eBay, look up sold comps, territory ahead, button up shirts, go the highest price, the lowest price. You're going to find out that the, the crazier prints sell for more money um, and the larger. Also, if you find them in the corduroy, those seem to do well too. Corduroy also with the corduroy waffle. I know there's so many things out there. Um, actually, I bought this because I've already sold one and I have one I just listed recently. It's a Cinch, which is a good like rodeo brand. So Cinch, it's a 2XL. 
So I have two, I've so, I sold 2XL and a 2XL that I just listed. So I'll be able to take pictures of this in about 30 seconds and sell similar in another 30 seconds. So this shirt will only take me about one minute to list, which is great. Um, and I have a video on me doing all my pictures and measurements in real time. So you can watch that if you wanna see how quickly to make it work. Really good, actually probably a better Western brand than Cinch is Ariat. So Ariat, Ariat, however you spell it or however you say it, you just need to learn how to spell it because that's all that matters, you can type it into eBay. 2XL, again, another good size. This is the Pro Series, which means it has like a performance. Again, you see a pattern here, anything that has like nylon or polyester or spandex, it's a go. It's a go-go. Um, I like picking up cycling jerseys if they're unique. You will tend to see a ton of cycling jerseys that are local causes like uh, here in Indianapolis, we have Lily here based at Indianapolis. So we have like Ride for Lily. That stuff doesn't do real well, but if you find something that's like California, has a California flag, Radio Shack, or anything related to like the Tour de France or a brewery company, they usually do well. So this was $4.99, $5, and I can probably get around $30 for those. But those jerseys range all over the place. I've sold them for up to $100. I sold a Rolling Stones one recently for I think around $40 or $50. So they just range. And the Rolling Stones wasn't even vintage. Um, it was just a Rolling Stones print, like a CD cover print. Uh, another Under Armour match play pair of shorts, $3.99. And I'll be able to sell these for, or, and this is the newer style right there. And always make sure they have the button on the back or you're going to be wishing you didn't pick them up. Um, these will sell for $23.99. So $3.99 and $23.99. Anytime I sell those, that's how they go for. We're not done. We're not done. And welcome back if you left and came back to the video, you, which you probably did. But again, play this stuff in the background. If you like it, let me know below. I'll continue to make these because I am I love to talk to people and I, I love to uh, teach. I went to school to be a teacher. And I was a teacher. So um, that's what I like to do. These are Ariat. So Ariat jeans, really good again, like a rodeo brand. Um, these are the M5, so you would look up M5 straight when you type it into eBay, Ariat jeans. These were $7.99, and they'll probably sell for in the range of $28 to $30 plus ship on those. Again, Johnny O, it's funny how we just go in circles, right? We were just talking about Johnny O cotton polos. Here's a Johnny O polo that is the prep format. So this is the Johnny O, it's got the stretch, it's the performance blend. It has a cool polka dot to it. If you can see it, it's kind of hidden in there, but polka dot, $5. Now this will go for more. This will probably go for around 22 plus ship, something like that. But Johnny O is good. They are selling it at Nordstrom, or I mean at uh, TJ Maxx, but it's still expensive at TJ Maxx. So it's still a good brand to be on the lookout for. Is this the fifth? Fourth or fifth new brand to me? New brand to me. I looked it up. The only reason I looked it up it was because it was with other good women's clothing that I didn't pick up. There were some Eileen Fisher that were small. I know you can be mad at me. They were $5 a piece and some were linen. Be mad at me. I don't care. But uh, A-Y-R. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know. I don't know. But it was $5 and just a little shirt. And the comps on that brand look good. So for $5 again, I'll pick up that lottery ticket all day long. Uh, and again, I threw it over with my women's stuff. This is a brand you need to be on the lookout for. Uh, it's fine, but again, we're going in circles. Women's stuff is my least favorite. My second least favorite is to list um, men's blazers, but they just hit so hard. And this one's not because I just found a flaw in it, which is not fun, but that's okay. You guys can at least learn. Um, this brand right here, I'll let you pronounce it. Really good brand to be on the lookout for. They'll have, uh, if you can see it, they have all these little like birds or coral pieces um, throughout the inside embroidered, but I just, found a little baby hole in here. And the bad thing about blazers are, if there are holes in blazers or suits, you might as well forget about it because it's not able to repair. It's really, really hard to repair those. So I'm actually, if this was like pure cashmere, I might still sell it, but I might just um, salvage that out. So $8, write that back off later on. Here we go. What do we have here? Oh, another Johnny O. So another Johnny O prep performance. This one I got at a local thrift store, um, like a mom and pop. Again, it's a prep format, so it has that uh, polyester blend to it. This will sell for around, again, like $20, $22. Actually, it might sell for more because it's a 2XL. It's a 3XL. It will definitely sell for more. Again, the bigger, the better. Anything big sells great. 
got some more, guys. We got some more. We're almost done, though. We're almost done. Hopefully, you learned some good stuff. So, Mott & Bell. This is one of those brands I've seen it plenty of times. I haven't been... I haven't been selling clothing for the beginning of time. It's been 2015, but it's been long enough where I've seen brands like this go in and out. So this is like a popular brand. I think they sell them online maybe. I'm not sure. Mott and Bow. But there are brands like this that come in and go out just as fast. So these are popular right now. Then you can start seeing them do like three for 100 or like, or like two for 50 or whatever for the pants. But right now they're not. They're good. They're $8. I've been selling these within a week of listing them. A brand that comes to mind like that is that Charles Twywert, Twywert. When that brand first came out, it used to be like that. It used to sell really quickly, really popular. And then I noticed I'd get little like messages on Facebook, ooh, like buy these for this much and it'd be deals. And then you'd list them on eBay and they wouldn't be selling because the market would be flooded and you could buy them for really cheap new. Here's another pair of those Adidas. These are pre-owned instead of new like the other ones, but I only paid $3.99. These I'll sell for $19.99 plus ship. So again, I have a lot of these listed. These are search up method, just like all the other polos. And now that cinch, anything that I can take pictures super quickly and I have a like item, just change the color and size. I can list those in literally one minute. They're super easy lists. Uh, here is a pair of Boy Scout pants. So I actually got these at the, um, at the outlets too. I remember I got these at the outlets. So Boy Scouts of America pants, if you can find these in the nylon, even the cotton ones do well. But what you're looking out for are these convertible pants with the Boy Scout pants. So these are convertible, which means they zip off. They can be shorts or pants, which obviously with Boy Scouts, that's important when you're hiking. And these are unhemmed, which means these are probably new without tags. So these were probably donated uh, new, like they had a surplus of them because usually they're hemmed. These are unhemmed, so they're really long. And these will probably go for, if I list them new without tags, around $30 or something. I'm not sure how I'll list them. But just so you know, that's how they go. That rhymed. Foot Joy. Foot Joy, these sell well for me still. The half zip, these are a half zip, not a quarter zip, because you see they go halfway down the shirt. $4.99, and uh, this is a 2XL. So these, like a golfer will wear these when they want a little bit of rain protection or wind protection. They're a good sell. This will probably sell for $25, so $4.99 into $25. And you have, actually I have a couple more items. Forgot, this one I got with that other, uh, that other jersey. So these are cycling jerseys. Again, this is a brewery. So for some reason, breweries do well too. Brewery, brewery, I don't know. Um, they do well too. So this is a Portland, I guess, brewery. Brewery, uh, probably sell for like 20 bucks. Nothing crazy there, nothing crazy. Uh, oh, I'm gonna give this to my buddy, I think, too. So this is cool, Lil Wayne, which I love Lil Wayne. I used to listen to uh, all that stuff back in like 2000, Lil Wayne 2001. I think he was part of like, what, Bad, not Bad Boy, that's uh, P. Diddy, but like the Birdman, Birdman Records, whatever that, that record company is. But Lil Wayne, Concert T, I'm gonna give that to my buddy from 2011. It's not vintage, but it's still Concert T. And then last and least, is um, these Under Armour, or not Under Armour, Lululemon shorts, sorry. $4 for these shorts. Again, they probably missed it because they're looking for a Lululemon hit or Lululemon tag. Well, they're not gonna find it. All you have to do with Lululemon is see the button right there, you flip it over, and you're gonna have your Lululemon right there. Uh, these have the little hit right here on the side. So I wear Lululemon myself. So I know where the logo is on a lot of these. And then the back pocket has the size. These are a size 32. So a little bit, I actually had this exact pair of, uh, there's something in the pocket. How about that? I'm glad I opened this up. So just a little piece of paper. Um, but yeah, I have a pair just like these that I've thrifted before. So these will be going for sale. So that is everything that I got this, uh, I guess week and a half, actually week, this last week. So everything I got this last week, um, there's a thrift haul. Hopefully you guys learned some new stuff. Again, if you enjoy these, let me know in the comments below. I'll keep making them. Um, I love this stuff, this type of stuff I listen to in the background. So appreciate you guys. I hope you learned some things. I hope your sales are great. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. It means the world to me and give me a thumbs up if you learned something new. Peace.